let's talk about the Samaritan pretty because this show I've been binge watching it and I miss good TV so if you, if you want to know my thoughts if you want to chit chat with me um stay tuned because this show really took me on a roller coaster and um, I am so excited to chat because I have no one else to talk about it with well, I do, but like no one understands. I feel like everyone else will understand where I'm coming from. So if you see me looking down, it's because I took some notes. Like when I say that this show really took me on a roller coaster, I was not joking around. And like I knew that. And if you hear the background noise of the storm, it's really so loud. Um, I knew that I really I wanted to come back to YouTube and really discuss this show because it's so good. It's like so good. Anyways. So let me tell you, like, first of all, let me introduce myself, because if you don't know me, how are you going to watch this video? Hi, my name is Guillermo Hernandez, um, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel, if you're new here. Um, I upload when I can, no, just kidding, I upload weekly, um, this channel is about basically like anything I want, like pop culture, entertainment, anything that you get from me is just, it's complicated, I really don't have a niche. So if you like a little mess, if you like a little drama, you come to the right channel. Hi, let's be friends, subscribe. But um, let's get started. So just letting you guys know from the get-go that there will be spoilers on this video. So if you haven't finished season one, or if you haven't started The Summer Turn Pretty, and you wanna start and it's on your list, pause this video, go binge watch it, and then come back and have a conversation. There's, there's always a conversation. I'll, I'll, I'll reply back, you know what I mean? So, uh, I'm excited to start. I, I'm to live back this show. I definitely want to rewatch it again because it's definitely a staple. It's definitely a comfort show that I want to rewatch. So, um, let's get started. Let's get started on The Summer I Turn Pretty. So, the reason that I started The Summer I Turn Pretty was because my best friend told me to start it. But like, not only her, like, I did not know that this show, first of all, was books. Like, there's a series in this show of books. Like, I did not know. You know, if you know me, that I'm a huge reader. I still haven't read the book, but I should. Are you done? Okay. So, I have to read the books, but um, everyone has been telling me since the, since the show came out that I should watch this show. And like, the one thing that they used was the fact that Taylor Swift was on the soundtrack. And I'm like, okay, like, if you know me, you know that I'm a huge, huge, huge Swifty. I love Taylor Swift with my whole heart. Like, I love her as a person. I love her as an artist. I love her. I just love her. Like, I'm a Swifty so I die. And I am proudly, and I will say that, I would literally scream it on the rooftops that I'm a Swifty and I have no shame. Because that's my good sister. We've been through fake and fit. You know what I mean? Anyways, besides that, besides my, my love for Taylor Swift, which I love you so much. If you ever see this. Probably not, but you never know. Um, I was like, okay, I'm going to put it on my list. And I completely left it on the back burner because I forgot. Like It was a busy time during that time in my life. So I really didn't have time to sit and watch a whole TV show. Another car. Fine. Um, I really didn't have time to sit and watch another TV show. So I was like, you know what? Like, let me put it on the back burner. And then my best friend reminded me, was like, hey, I think you should watch The Summer Rights and Pretty. I think you'll really enjoy it. And I was like, you know what? Like, let me start the show. Like, everyone's been telling me that I'll enjoy it. And they were not lying. I had the best time of my life. Um, so watching the show, officially ending the show, I was thinking after watching it, like, and like what makes a good TV show good because this show is so good like it, I, I haven't seen a show this good in such a long time like genuinely like I'm be, and I really mean that like it, it had me going through a roller coaster of emotions it had me crying it had me screaming it had me like happy like I would say like 90% of the time watching the show, I was like this. 
I was just smiling. I was giddy. Like, I was just, like, joyful. And so that really, like, if a show could do that to me, like, it's automatically a comfort show for me. Like, it had me kicking my feet. You know what I mean? And so I was like, what makes a good TV show good? And I'm looking at my notes right now. And I came up with three things. There's probably more. But my brain could take three. So, <laughs> um, on all these are not in order so like we're going all over the place like it's gonna be up and down up in here if you want structure um probably go to another channel to be honest because we're going on you know this is a script technically but most of the time it's gonna come from my noggin you know what i mean so come to the right um so these are not in particular any order they're not you know so it's soundtrack I really believe that a soundtrack can really make or break the show. Storyline, writing, obviously, you need a good storyline in order for a show to work. And then characters. And so I think the first thing that really stuck, stuck out to me was the characters. Like I really love how, first of all, this is a diverse cast. Like I love, I love the same people of color in this um, show. I was like, oh my God, this feels like a good representation like it, it it was realistic you know what i mean but i really love that they include side characters and i, and I know that gilmore girls does this very well like i honestly feel like honestly i the summer turn pretty and gilmore girls are like connected or something like i feel like in some way shape or form like they are intertwined and they come from very different generations. Like, Gilmore Girls came out in 2000. I was like a baby. It was like a month. And then Summertime Pretty came out, like, what, 2021, 2022? I don't, I don't know. But, um, I definitely see the inspiration of Gilmore Girls in it. Besides that, besides the Gilmore Girls run, because I can really go into it. <laughs> um, I really love how they include the side characters. Now, I'm not saying that Susanna and Belly's mother, I forgot her name, I'm so sorry. I love you, Queen. Just know. I literally adore you. Um, I'm not saying they're side characters, but like technically they really are, to be honest. Like the story is about Belly, and the summer she turned pretty. It's not about Susanna, it's not about her mother. It's it's about Belly, my good sister. And so I really love how they really first of all I wrote down here, it says I really love their friendship. Like the mom's friendship, like is so adorable and I could tell like they genuinely love each other. Like the chemistry from both like the actresses really had me thinking like they were best friends in real life. Like and that's how you know a show is really good. When you think that the actors in real life are besties, that's when you know. Cause I really thought that Alexis Bledel and Lauren Graham were best friends. Like I'm not gonna lie. I was like, wow. It broke my heart when I found that they weren't. And if you just find this out, I'm so sorry. But they're not. Um so that's how you know a show is really good when you assume that the like, actors are besties in real life. And I don't know, maybe they are. I really don't know. I haven't done really enough research. But I, trust me, I'm obsessed. I really love the friendship. I really love Taylor and, Be and um, Betty. Taylor Swift, get off my head, please. Bellies, which is so weird to call her Belly. Like, I don't know. Like, that's a weird name. Like, Belly Stomach. Like, I don't know. It, it's cute or whatever, but I just found it a little odd, in my opinion. But it's okay. Anyway, so I really love Taylor and Belly belly not betty belly friendship i really don't know if they have been friends since like childhood or if they have been friends since high school i don't know i really don't remember if they even gave us that back like that background story i definitely know that they gave us the background story for cousins which i really enjoy like i really love seeing them like grow up and like they're really like besties or whatever or family you can say i guess Although, would you date someone that you consider to be family? Probably not. You know. Anyways, I really, I really did enjoy Taylor and Betty. Betty, oh my God, it's not Betty. Betty Allen at the doorstep, and I planned it out for weeks now, but it's finally sticking in. Just to get it out of my brain, because Taylor Swift, literally, I'm telling you, I mentioned Taylor Swift, and like it's like stuck in here in my noggin. You know what I mean? It's like there, and like all of a sudden, all her songs want to play. Like, shut up, brain. Um, Belly and Taylor's friendship was very cute. That one argument they had, though, I was really, like, sitting here, like, wow, like, that was really mean. 
there was one comment that she really made that really kind of threw me off. And it was the fact that she said to Bally, like, I'm scared of you. Like, I'm scared of your glow up. Like, and I really thought, honestly, to be honest, and you, like, correct me if I'm assuming or, like, if you thought, like, if you didn't catch it the same way I did. Because we, we all watch TV in certain in the different ways and, like, we can, like, catch certain things like from different perspectives and i would love to hear yours i really thought that taylor was giving very much hater energy i really thought that she was praying for my good sister's downfall like i was like um why would you say that to her like that's what's giving it's giving hater it's giving like you're jealous you're insecure so i didn't like that comment and so i was talking to my best friend and she was like remember they're 16 she's 16 and like obviously I'm not a girl, but like I know that we all suffer for insecurities. Like, like we all have those deep insecurities, or it could be even be like little insecurities that we had in high school that we probably still have now, to be honest. Um, and I just had a like she really humbled me when she said that because I'm just like, damn, like I can't really hate her because I remember when I was 16 and insecure, and I still am a little bit. I won't tell I won't tell you my insecurities because. People love using them, using them against you. Can never be me. But um, I just like I forgot, and I had to remember that like you know she's sixteen, she's young, like she's a girl, you know like. So I gave her time, like I gave her some slack. I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna give you the grace. I'm gonna give you some grace. So the characters immediately I fell in love with everyone: Steven, Belly, Taylor, Susanna, her mother, like Belly's mother, which I don't remember her name for the life of me. And Conrad and Jeremiah, obviously. Soundtrack. I knew, I knew that Taylor Swift was going to be on the soundtrack. Like, that, that, that's something that like they told me from the get go. But I didn't know what songs they were gonna use, and I didn't know. They really just had me gagged the whole time because I'm like, perfect, perfect, perfect timing. Perfect timing, like you know the scene I'm talking about, Fourth of July. For my Conrad shippers, I really don't know the ship name. So, my Conrad shippers, you know the scene, Fourth of July. And like I said, there will be spoilers. They're about to kiss on the deck, and false guy starts playing, and I'm like, wow, like who would have thought? Who would have thought? Like that's the perfect song at the perfect moment, and I was just sitting in my bed like. Oh my god, I was literally yelling at my TV like like you know when a show is good when you yell at the TV like when you're yelling at the TV like loud That's how you know a show's really good because like it has you hooked. You're invested in it I'm in like Belly's world right now. Like I'm in summers. I'm in summers. I'm in cousins for the summer so like that just mm -mm -mm. The soundtrack was perfect timing. I live with Rodrigo um, Sweetie you know, cause she my best friend, she a real bad. You know what I mean? I was just like living. I was like, this soundtrack is so fire. Like, it's so fire. Like, you know, like some TV shows be having some whack soundtracks, I'm gonna lie. Like, why would you play that song in that moment? Like, you know what I mean? Like this, every song was so perfect and whoever was the producer of the show, you deserve a raise, babe. You deserve money. You deserve an, like an Emmy. You deserve something, something to award you for the perfectionism that you just gave me, you know what I mean? So obviously the soundtrack was fire, like I love Taylor Swift, I love Olivia Rodrigo. I, Cardi B playing, I said, you know what, like stop playing, like it was just so up, and it's up, then it's stuck, it was, you know, it was just so good, it was so good. Anyways, besides that, besides that, the storyline. Storyline had me, like I love the suspense, like, and it's not even in a scary way because like there's nothing scary about the show but like the suspense of like who is belly going to choose who is her one who's her prince charming you know what i mean like they first of all they're brothers like two brothers are in love with the same girl and i was really sitting here thinking after i watched the show like am i really mature like, like, <laughs> like, am I mature enough to, like, handle me and my sibling like, liking the same person? Like, 
it's just the fact you guys are like I feel like obviously we know who she's gonna choose I, I think I don't want to assume for the writers I haven't read the books so you guys know more than me um Imagine you and your sibling like the same person and then that person choose your sibling. Am I mature enough to let that go? Like really, like I'm sitting here like, am I mature enough to talk to my sibling? Like I'll be kind of upset. Like I'll be like, I'll be kind of petty. I'll be kind of angry, I'll be kind of pissed. Like damn, like, like they really chose you. Conclusion, I don't think I'm mature enough to handle that. So I really don't know how Conrad and Jeremiah like I just don't get the dynamic. Like, how are they going to, like, work this out? Because, eh. Because Belly kissed both of them. And they know. Like, they try to act stupid, but, like, Connor was there. Not Connor, I'm sorry. Jeremiah was there when Belly and Connor was going to kiss. And I don't know if Connor was there when Jeremiah and Belly kissed. But that was just crazy. That, that's when I was just, like... Oh, it's a mess, and I love a good mess. I love a good mess. I was living, to be honest, like in my bed. Like, I was just like, wow. Like she have a choice, and she needs to make it ASAP because we 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 better be done. It's episode six. I thought I really thought it had, it had like eight episodes, but I think it has seven. Which I was not prepared. I was not ready, you know. Anyways, so I think those three things really make a good TV show good. And the summer action pretty really had all those qualities. I loved it. Like. It was good TV. I was sitting there thinking like it was really good TV. And like I was just nostalgic. It made me think of like my life. Like I was really like living through belly kind of in a way. Like it really made me think of my youth. Like I'm not that old you guys. Like I'm 22. But like I was in high school too. I remember feeling the same way that Steven did. I remember feeling the same way that Conrad and, and Jeremiah and Betty did. The same way Taylor did. Like I remember those. I remember like obviously I didn't have a summer in cousins like i didn't have that privilege of vacationing all summer in a mansion but i remember like you know like you know staying out late having a crush like drinking you know what i mean like all those things that you do like at your youth and i was just like i'm a christian now so like obviously like in the past thinking about like belly really lived her best life like and like that made me happy like, you go kiss that boy. Like, you go have that drink. Like, you go to that party. Like, go live your life. You had a glow up. Use it to your advantage, babe. You know what I mean? So, anyways. So, let, let's, get, let's get into, like, really, like, why you're here. And it's because... Who do I ship belly with? What team am I on? And this kind of gave me PTSD because if you watch Gomo Girls... They always ask you, are you team Dean? Are you team Logan? Are you team Jess? And it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. By the way, I am team Jess, but also I do like Logan. I could really get into that. If you guys want an episode on Gomo Girls, we could really get into it. We could really chit chat because that show, comfort too. But, so I have my notes here and I wrote, I wrote a, a, like a good amount I'm not gonna say everything, but let me tell you something right now. Cam Cameron, justice for Cam Cameron, justice for Cam Cameron. I, I said Cam, I meant Cam. You know Cam, you know what I mean, Cameron, Cam. Cam, I'm so sorry, Cam, like you deserve better, to be honest, like, I really thought that he was cute. I thought he was cute. I thought that he was adorable. I thought that he was respectful. I thought that he was smart. And he really, really liked it, Benny. Like, I could tell he was so nervous around her. Like, it was so adorable. I like the way they met you at the, at the beach party, even though she fell on her face. That was kind of embarrassing. Um, and I could never live that down. I'm sorry. Oh, you will never catch me again at Summers. Not Summers, at Cousins. Why I keep saying Summers, I don't know. You will never catch me at, at Cousins again. I would never show my face again. That's embarrassing. But I applaud her for being a, a, a confident woman. And, like, you know not letting that face her because i would have been like i would have sat down crying i would have not got up i would have been like girl did everyone leave yet like can i get up now because that was embarrassing i had second hand embarrassment anyways besides that i really liked the cam cameron i thought that he was adorable i thought that he really liked her 
I thought he would show interest to her. That like he was her first kiss. I think I assumed. I assumed. And so I liked him. But like my best friend was like at like you know like Cam Cameron, he's a little sad character. Like he like he won't even he is irrelevant. And I'm like, give him some respect. At the end of the day, yes, I know that they're not together. And I know that Belly, they break up with him. Or whatever they had, I guess. Were they even dating? I don't know. I thought they just had a little fling. Because I never heard him say boyfriend and girlfriend. Let's be realistic. But, um, I liked it him. So, justice for Cam Cameron. Cam, have you seen this? I love you, Cam. Season 2, I know your storyline's gonna be good. Because I seen the poster. I seen the poster. The poster was yeah, 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 oh my god, like, I, the show really gave me giddy, like, he's like, you know, so, okay, let's get into the real deal, Cameron, not Cameron, I'm sorry, Conrad and Jeremiah, Conrad, before I knew what I knew, and the fact that obviously, he knew this whole time that his mother had cancer, which really, breaks my heart it really makes me want to cry if i think about it too much i get it king i get why you were shut down like you have anxiety too okay like i can't because it makes me want to cry anyways at first mr conrad was not giving her the time of day and i was like babe pick up your crown Belly, pick up your crown. Because I know that Belly really, like, really, really liked it. Cam not Cameron. Conrad. And I really knew that, I guess, like, that's her first love. How can you love someone that doesn't love you back? Don't know. I've, I haven't experienced that yet, so I won't even speak on it. But, like, that was her first love. So, I, I understand. But, like, he wasn't really giving her the time of day. And I was kind of, I was getting upset, like... Stop playing with my good sister. Like, you play too much. Like, it was, like, back and forth. It was, like, the writers really, like, have me in this, like, revolving door. Like, a revolving door. Like, is it Cam? Is it Conrad? Is it Jeremiah? And it's, like, I'm tired. Can y'all choose for me? I mean, they were leading me on, to be honest. But, like, you know what I mean? So, at first, he wasn't giving her the time of day. And I was kind of upset. But then, like, after finding out everything, I'm giving him grace. So, he's... That's your grace. Like, I'm giving you grace, Conrad. So you better, in season two, you better not be playing these games because we could fight. We could fight. Um, that 4th of July scene really just, I think, sealed the deal for me. It really sealed the deal for me because it was just so adorable. Like, it really had me kicking my feet and laughing. Like, they almost kissed. Like, oh my God, it was just perfect. Like, I could literally play this scene in my head. Like they were talking, it was 4th of July weekend, it's dark, the ambience, like clearly he likes her, we know that now, you know what I mean? Like he's interested in her, they're about to kiss, false got me to start playing, that's when they got me, I feel like that's when they really got me, I said, like I said earlier, perfect timing, perfect soundtrack, perfect song. And I was just like, ooh, like, ah, like, I love. Like, I was literally yelling at my TV, like, yeah, better kiss, yeah, better kiss. And then Jeremiah want to come. Let me win the thing. And so the next episode comes. Again, this revolving door. And Jeremiah confesses his feelings to Belly. At, you know, the pool scene. They talk and they talk and he's playing, you know, he's, like, being smooth, right? You know, talking his talk, putting his work in. You know what I mean? I think this... The camera has a 25 minute limit, which I don't even know. So, things you learn every day. Anyways, back. So, what was I talking about? Oh, the pool scene. So, basically, yes, yeah, so like, you know, he's playing his game or whatever, and he's like, no, he said this in the car, but like, I, I would never forget. He's playing his game, you know, like, Belly is literally his Conrad. Like you get what you like you get what I'm saying? And so of course Belly's gonna be like, oh, like you want me, like you're interested. Conrad's really like he forgot that we kissed. Like he got 
short-term memory loss or something. Like, I don't know what's going on. But he forgot we kissed. So obviously, like, I'm pissed, I'm upset, I'm mad, as she should be. Because how are you going to forget, like, nothing happened? Like, night, the, the, the thing is, like, now you're going to try her play her again. And it's like, you can only be played so many times. Play me once, for you. Play me twice? What did J. Cole say? Okay, okay. Um, and so, yeah, they kissed. And then, the, like, again, I'm, I'm in this, like, revolving door of like who do I choose who do I like with belly at the end of the day it's her choice like she gets to choose I'm just sitting here you know I, I'm, I'm rooting her up like you go girl you know what I mean so there's that right and it's like he really did show like I, I literally wrote this down I said Pussy was so cute waited for belly actually showing interest in her as a girlfriend something that Conrad did not show but we know why, Grace, you know? And then the car scene. Like, I will always choose you, Belly. Like, you, like, you know, like, I love you. Da, da, da. I will, like, it was giving me, like, pick me, choose me, love me. For my Grace Anatomy fans, you know what I'm talking about. Like, it was giving that, and I was just, like, so heartbroken. Like, in, like, finding out who to choose. Because, like, I don't know. I, I don't know, like... They're both cute for belly. Like, they both have chemistry. She had to choose one. Like, I was literally thinking, like, yeah, he, the writer's gonna have to choose for me because I can't choose. But then I went on TikTok. And them damn TikTok editors know how to sway someone's opinion because they have done it multiple times with Gomo Girls. And so I have to say, I'm here, I'm announcing it to the world. The I am Team Conrad. I am Team Conrad. I just, they're so cute. You know what really seemed to do for me? I think was the dance scene. The um, debutante ball scene, when Jeremiah was nowhere to be found, which that scene really broke my heart. Like, damn. If only Belly knew. And then he stepped in for him, and they were dancing, and was just like, I saw the vid. I've been seeing the vid. I, I been saw the vision. I saw the vision during 4th of July. But like, I think that really still the deal for me, so I am team Conrad. And so to be honest, like I I, I really love a good slow burn. Like I really do, like, it kind of reminded me of Jess and Rory, except, you know, Belly's a single woman and she has the right to choose when Rory was in a relationship with Dean. You know what I mean? So like, it was just, I, it gave me little similarities. Um, and I don't know if the creator of the show or the author or the writer or whatever it could be watched Gilmore Girls and, like, got some inspiration. Although I did see a TikTok that, like, she, okay, season two coming out, obviously, July 14th. I'm super excited. I'm sitting there. I'm, like, they're going to catch me. Sitting. I'm sitting down. I'm preparing myself. Um, I saw that on TikTok, one of the writers, I think the creator of the show, I think her name is Jenny Han, Han, um, uh, was like, Belly was wearing his white shirt, and it reminded me of Girl More Girls, it reminded me of Rory's white sweater, and like, I think it's like, the pilot, and she said that was the inspiration, I was like, oh my god, like, wow, like, Girl More Girls really do follow me everywhere. It's insane. Anyways, so... Wrapping everything up in a cute little bowl. I'm Team Conrad. I'm super excited for season two. I'm so glad that I started watching the show like, er, like as soon as season two was coming out. Because if I had to wait a whole year, like some of y'all did, um, I wouldn't have survived. To be honest, I still need to read the books. But um, if you made it this far, oh my god, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day. And listening to me and listening to me just talk about the summer and pretty. And so if you want to chit chat, my Instagram is WillGijimo8. Welcome back. Welcome to my channel. I love you so much. I'm sending you light and love and peace and joy. Um and um I'll see you next time.